Hi everyone and welcome to Trend Spotting. Here's what caught your eye on social media this week. A house fire in Dedido on Wednesday last week left 31 people without a home. While the family was unharmed, the fire consumed all their belongings. They are looking to the community now for help so they can rebuild. If you would like to donate, please call 987-6493 or visit the Dedido Mayor's Office. Many offered their prayers and inquired about where donations could be made. Underscore Tewer on IG also extended some support saying, Quote, I also lost my home to a fire about a year ago. We approached Red Cross and our local mayor's office, and they offered so much help. Know what it is like to lose everything. So happy to see so many offering help to a family in need. Unquote. On Thursday, Chris Barnett revealed insight into how much members of the legislature were spending on various goods ranging from furniture to iPads and TVs. Viewer response was split down the middle. Julia Fagerger stated, Why aren't they fighting for higher wages for people getting paid minimum wages to match the high cost of living? So we can at least sit on even rented chairs from Dial Rent to Own or take pictures of our kids' accomplishments for memories with high tech cameras and not with our cell phones and eat a juicy steak. Not buy quarter leg chicken because it's all we can afford to buy with our minimum wages and live on a paycheck to paycheck salary. In contrast, many felt the spending was justified, as did Joe Belafis. He stated, People shouldn't complain because they are allocated money for their office budgets for a reason. They shouldn't have to use their personal funds or items for their office or other things. The amount of work these guys do compared to the paltry sums they are paid is ridiculous. At just about every function on Guam, whether it be a wedding, rosaries, or funerals, there is generally a senator present, and generally speaking, it's on their own time. People need to lighten up and realize that with extra responsibility comes a little bit of reward. I really think to a large degree these folks are taken for granted. That's all for this week. Keep those likes, comments, and engagement coming. I'm Asha Robles with Trendspotting. We'll see you next week.